Animal feeders in China or liquor producers in China can access that market and pay a premium on the U.S. market and still be cheaper for them than bringing in other alternatives that they could use. It's all about the exports, and grain sorghum is no different this year. Bill Rooney with the Department of Soil and Crop Sciences at Texas A&M says in recent years, China has been one of the biggest buyers, mainly for animal feed, but for another very important use too. Baiju is their national liquor. It's made from sorghum. Sorghum production in China has dropped as well because they're producing more corn, which has increased the demand for sorghum to produce their national liquor because they don't substitute anything for that. It works like a lot of other grains used to produce whiskey and vodka right here in the U.S. They also have very strong interest in, in the, in, you know, just like here we have distilleries that specialize in high end and, and, and cheaper and all that. The same thing happens in China, and there are groups in there that are very willing to pay a very high price for specialty grains, grain sorghums, that, that will make the type of liquor that they want to make. Like many things in agriculture, sorghum business is driven strongly by exports, especially to China. But with uncertainty in the international landscape, Rooney says there's a great opportunity for domestic sorghum use. It ebbs and flows. Uh, interest in bioenergy is very much tied to energy prices and demand. Whether alcohol, energy, or even food, sorghum could be a viable use anywhere corn has a harder time growing. I think on a pound-for-pound on pound basis it would be better than corn just because you have lower inputs and you've got a plant that's a little bit uh, more uh, self-sustaining in an environment. Providing another easy to produce way for producers to feed the world from the ground up. From the Ground Up is sponsored by Producers Cooperative, proudly serving agriculture since 1943.